What is up, guys? How is it going? Bring you guys some of that good old battle. Doing it up on Pearl Market Conquest. Dun, dun, dun. And I'm also using the 870 shotgun of fun. Doing it up. And also got the Deagle. I don't really use it too much except for right there. I also got a suppressor on the Deagle. Which uh, I'm not quite too sure if I am enjoying the suppressor on the Deagle. I actually like it with the uh, compensator on it because it kind of adds like a barrel extension to it. Kind of like the 44 Magnum does as well. But then I found the RAR so I ran to the spawn and de decided to deploy this bitch and uh, <laughs> get a Wally 2.0. This thing's actually pretty fun. It is pretty, it's pretty the rape as well. It kills people rather quickly. It feels like, you know, a standard I don't know, machine gun or whatever on this thing. Uh, puts people down pretty quick. Uh, this thing does have a little bit more health than a player, but I find myself having absolutely no situational awareness while in this thing, so I get crept up on all the time as I turn on those two guys right there and somehow get flashbanged in this, which doesn't really make much sense, but that guy ends up creeping on me and whatever, so I end up running back over here after and I actually got this game edited down quite a bit because it was quite the long and it was also uh, quite the disappointing this was one of those games where no matter what I seem to do it did not even matter uh, I won't spoil it but it gets close and uh, I was sad at the end so we'll just leave it at that for now but playing on Pearl Market Conquest doing it up a lot of people hate this map and I for one was one of them but the more and more I am playing this map the more and more I am enjoying it. Uh, it seems to work pretty good. Uh, this is a 64 player server which uh, this map kind of is kind of too much of a clusterfuck on 64 players. Like, I think I like it a little bit better on uh, the 48 player servers. Even 32 is pretty pretty good. Um, with still a lot of action, 64 sometimes can just be like overdoing it, especially on chain link. This this map in particular on chain link becomes even more chaotic. Uh, there's seven flags on chain link, but they capture so damn fast, and everyone kind of like runs around. It's it's kind of I, I like the game mode chain link, but I don't know. I I kind of almost wish that the uh, flags wouldn't capture as fast. Maybe like half the time as. Uh, they would normally in conquest because as it is right now they're like domination flags and they cap almost instantly especially if you got a you know like a whole squad on a flag they cap really really quickly which leads to everyone running around all chaotic and another reason why I think this map's a little bit more chaotic than it might not be in you know a month's time is because everybody Ah, right there. See that spawn beacon? Everybody's running spawn beacons trying to unlock the new bolt-action rifle, the CS5, which requires you to get 20 spawns, squad spawns, or whatever, off that. And, uh, oh, right there, man. Goddamn UI, UI got me. I thought it was a teammate, and then right at the last second I realized it was an enemy, and he was able to kill me, which... Uh, when the hell is that CTE change going to come where you could adjust all of the HUD elements? I can't wait for that to come, if those of you who are unaware. And CTE, you could actually adjust all of the HUD elements from teammates to squad to friendly to the flags, and you can make them kind of fade in and out, and I can't wait till that change takes place in the vanilla game. Uh, it should help out a lot in situations like that I just had. From getting killed, from, you know, thinking it's a squad mate and whatnot, it's really a bad guy, so it would be nice to turn those down. It's in CT, and it seems to be working out pretty good in there. I'm just kind of curious to see when it will get released for the vanilla game, because that should be a very nice change. But, uh, yeah, using the shotgun, I got, uh, no barrel attachment. And I think I'm running, I'm running for shit rounds, and I got a laser sight right here doing some sound horn, good old sound horn, and also get some good old accusations in this game, as that guy calls me a camping fag for capping the flag, which is, you know, it's not like I'm hiding in a random corner or anything, I mean, I'm just trying to cap the flag, trying to help out my team, but apparently that guy has a problem with it, so I'm just gonna, like, run off the flag really quickly, and unfortunately that guy is able to kill me but I get revived so it's all good in the hood because 
Sometimes when I'm capping flags, I like to jump off the flag and do a quick flanking maneuver. Well, especially if there's already teammates on the flag. Unfortunately, that guy ended up getting me because my pump shotgun failed the three shots to kill that guy. But then sometimes it works out and you just go one, two, three and everyone dies. So I don't know what's up with that. The hit detection in this game for shotguns is not very good. Hence why I never really run shotguns. I used to like running shotguns, but... And you guys used to enjoy the uploads that I would post running around with the pump shotguns and stuff, but uh, I've always had balancing issues with the shotguns in Battlefield. Uh, not just Battlefield 4, but Battlefield in general. I always felt that they were a little unbalanced in comparison to the semi-automatic shotguns. I do not think it should be possible for a semi-auto shotgun to be able to one-shot you in any circumstance. I think it should always require a two-shot um, that's just my opinion, because one thing that does piss me off, especially while using the pump shotguns, is when they don't die in one hit, and it takes two to even sometimes three to four shots to kill someone, but then you'll get, like, a, a semi-auto shotgun, and it'll one-shot you from 20 feet away. I don't know why, but, you know, it is what it is. The hit detection isn't that great in this game, and from what I've gathered, there was even an article couple days ago on the internet saying that the uh, latest patch actually fucked up the hit detection which uh, I'm kind of inclined to believe because I've had some really wonky uh, situations that have happened to me in fact one was absolutely extremely ridiculous and the most blatant terrible bad hit detection registration thing that I've had and that was kind of frustrating um, which kind of sucks I don't know what it is about this game, why they can't figure out the hit detection, uh, you know, it's still not as bad as Bad Company 2, in my opinion. Bad Company 2 hit detection was the worst. I think the, uh, the little headshot sound that that game made made it appear to be worse than it is as well, because it sounded like when you get a headshot in that game, it sounded like if you hit, like, a hammer against a frying pan, it would make, like, a noise. And there would be so many instances, especially with the shotguns, where you'd, like, shoot someone point-blank in the face and you'd hear multiple headshot noises and, like, they want to die and shit like that would happen all the time. So, I still feel this game got better at detection than Bad Company 2, but that's not saying much, because uh, that game and this game don't really have good hit detection. Uh, Battlefield 3 is definitely better than both of these, but Battlefield 3 doesn't have all that great hit detection as well, which... Kind of sucks. Hopefully they'll be able to fix this. Um, I don't know. And CT, it's a lot better. So I don't know what happened. And it was doing pretty good before this last patch. But up until recently, it's like, nope. It's not going to work. Which it is what it is. And um, But yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of like running around with the 870 on this map. I figured I'd try it out. This is the first time I tried a shotgun on this map. And... Uh, more and more that I'm playing this map, the more and more that I am joining it, although from my playtime, it is very, very inconsistent, at least for me. I had a game the other day, actually, where I started off 19-0 uh, and 0 with the Bulldog, or 19-1 and 1 or something like that, and, like, I ended up being, like, at one point I looked at the score, but I was, like, 22 and 10, so, like... There's a lot of instances on this map where you'll just die over and over again. In fact, during this gameplay, which I edited out, I, there's a few instances where I literally spawned, died like three times in a row. Decided to cut those out to make myself appear better than I really am, because you know how it is. <laughs> and right there, this probably gets me killed. Fucking up my nade, and then these guys come through the doorway. If I didn't throw that nade and I was still in my cover, I probably would have been able to kill that second guy who pretty much fucking insta-death me, but it is what it is. What are you going to do? I end up getting revived, so it's not too big of a big deal. You know what I'm saying? Love getting revived and all that. And that good old Deagle, doing it up. Everyone's using the Deagle. But I, I'm also laying some C4 traps. I'm playing this on support. In hindsight, I probably should have did it as Medic. This is probably a better kit to use with the Medic, but... I wanted to deal with Amtraks and stuff, but uh, I ended up only coming across one of them this game, so in hindsight it probably would have been better to run uh, the Medic. But it ain't no big deal. Um, but yeah, this map can be very inconsistent, at least for me. Um, I'm imagining over the next month or so it'll get more, it'll get better over time because people won't 
will we'll end up becoming more predictable and stuff like that once they learn the map some. <laughs> a long time ago, people kind of like was like, what the fuck are you talking about when I said sometimes I would rather play against higher level players than noobs and stuff. And uh, Noobs will do, like, uh, when I say noobs, I'm like, I'm talking about, like, low level players that really don't know what's going on. Sometimes they do shit that's kind of out of the ordinary, like hiding in random corners that you've never seen anyone hiding behind before and, and shit like that. So, uh, players that have played this a little bit more. Ooh, C4 Surprise, have some more, bro. Uh, people that seem to, you know, have a little bit more playtime on the on the maps and stuff seem to, you know, be a little bit more predictable. That they, you know, people tend to go certain ways over others, cap flags from certain spots and stuff like that. So over time, uh, you know, it'll get a, it'll get a little bit better. That's why. Uh, pro tip: If you want to not be as frustrated playing this game, do not play it on the weekends. Uh, <laughs> Uh, that's one thing that I've learned from playing this game is not playing it on the weekends. It seems all the casual, low-level players get on, and that's when they get shot from random rooftops, random corners all the time. So I tend to only play during the week. And oh, this is very convenient. It's all like goodbye, Amtrak. I killed you. But the game's actually coming winding down to the end. It was really close. I don't know why that guy didn't die. Good old inconsistencies with the shotgun. But it is what it is. And we actually ended up catching up right here, but unfortunately, uh, we are not able to hold the lead. I'm over here kind of dicking around on the sea flag, just trying to save it and f you know, from being captured. But unfortunately, uh, teammates in other places of the map end up failing us. And um, are unable to hold the other flags, which is kind of disappointing, you know. But it is what it is. And I come up behind all these people. I'm glad I wait to. I waited before I shot because I did totally did not see that guy jumping over the counter until he jumped over the counter and finish off these two guys. Get a nice, nice little five street going on there while I'm trying to save this flag. But unfortunately, teammates were unable to save the other flags and. We end up losing our slight marginal lead that we had, and uh, unfortunately we end up losing this game by 10 tickets, and I was very, very much the sad face. And I also kind of fucked up here. I went to lay down and prone, but if I would have just crouched or whatever, I probably would have been able to kill that guy, because unfortunately in this game you can't, sh you know, they, they don't want people to drop shot and shit like that, so can't shoot. While you're doing those fancy maneuvers, as I get some hackusations, I get hackusations this whole gameplay. Which is, uh, I always take it as a compliment. I've actually never seen anyone use uh, hacks with a shotgun, so. You know, it is what it is, but I jumped down here like an idiot. Probably should have stayed up there and ended up dying, but it's not too big of a deal because we lost anyways, which I was uh, quite the disappoint. But, you know, what are you gonna do? Get hackusations. Damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of situation, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I went 58 and 13 with the 870 of fun. And yeah, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and peace. Have a good one.